and welcome to Etsy Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing and reviewing this Cadillac in this box. And maybe you already know that this is the SLS Cadillac, and the, the box actually is black only with, with a logo here on the top. And then we have some important notice here. Manufactured with great precision, handle with extra care. And of course, I will do that. Yeah, so who actually produced this car? It was GCO Gain Por sorry, Gain Corp products. And it's it was licensed by GM, so there is some kind of official license. And then of course this was manufactured in China. And we can also see some more details here, like the CDS, CDS Coupe, and all those models uh, are uh, licensed by General Motors. Okay, so now I think uh, no more talking about the box, because what you are interested in is definitely the content of the box, right? So let me just open it very quickly. And the box actually is a little bit damaged because it came from China and it's not a new model. It, it's already there like for, I don't know, 10 years. And uh, I think they made so many of these. I bought it on eBay for some like, something like $100, I guess. That should be the price that I paid. And now let me take it out of the box. What is quite surprising is that this box is quite small, yeah, and um, I think also very short. So I I'm just wondering how such a big Cadillac can fit in such a small box. The way how they sealed it is the exact same way as Kyosho does it. So I'm wondering, is it the same company only with a different name? Maybe the same uh, facility which produced also other Kyosho models? Mm. Very good coffee indeed. And now I think what we can expect is a beaut beautiful model. So let me just do this and uncover it okay so what we can see here is the model itself and it's sealed or covered by two towels and i will just remove them very gently put them aside and already see this nice model oh, what what is it here the door opening tool wow this time maybe i will use it okay so let's keep it here on the table and now gently take this model Wow, it's so beautiful. And I think, I guess there is nothing else in the box. No, there is not. Okay, cool. So let me just put it here aside and already check this nice, beautiful model. Okay. Wow, it's not so short. Yeah, so the box looked really, really small, but the car is okay. So it's really one to eight in scale. And I bought this one because I'm also collecting Cadillacs. I already have the new uh, Escala concept. I also have the CT6 or CT5 now, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably I will collect all of them. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. But now I'm reviewing this SLS. It's not brand new, it's, it's already, uh, I don't know, it was produced already in 2003, something like that. And the import, important fact is that also the previous United States president uh, was driving uh, one of those Cadillacs. Of course, it was, uh, you know, a little bit longer version and fully bulletproof, but this one, this is the regular one, uh, not the presidential version, but we will check now all the details, okay? So, as always, I am starting my review in the front, and what I'm always so curious about the front grille, guys, uh, and so am I this time. All right, the front grille, how does it look like? So, you can see the very nice logo. It's shiny, nice, all the details, I would say, perfect. But then the front grille is not fully perforated. So you can see actually the, the grille and then behind there is a, something like a black net, but this is not perforated. It would be probably very expensive. And I also see some kind of dirt here. Yeah, So between the grille and the hood, here, this is a little bit dirty. So hopefully I will be able to clean it later. Yeah, let's check once I open it, but let's see. And then we have the headlights. 
they look quite amazing. I would say yes. They are very detailed. I see the depth of the detail, so I would say that's okay. Yeah, no complaints here. I really love it. Then we have the license plate, which says only SLS, nothing else. I'm a little bit disappointed because I prefer the real license plate with the real letters and numbers. Then we have the fog lights and a little bit more of the front grille in also small net, not perforated. Okay, so the front, it's not disappointing. It could be, of course, a little bit better, a little bit, but it's nothing bad. Yeah, for this quality, for this price, I think it's good and I like it. Then the wheels. And here I'm very surprised about one thing. So first, they look really small. Yeah, so I think th those wheels are like 17 or 16 inch, something like that. Really, really small. And the rubber then is really thick and, and big. So I don't know, maybe it was, uh, it was like this maybe 15 years ago when they were producing such cars. Because nowadays they really focus that they have as large wheels as possible, you know, like 21 inches. But here they maybe were focusing more on comfort. That's why we have a lot of rubber and such a tiny, tiny wheels and alloys. And but I like it because you you see that uh, there are all the details, like all the screws, the logo in the middle, and also the brake disc and the brake caliper. So you can also turn the wheels. Yeah, let's check the rubber here. The tires look realistic and. In the end, I like it. Yeah, it's only unusual that we would see such small wheels, but hmm, probably that's just how it was. Then we have some small decoration here. That's the turning light, and then we already have those uh, side views. So from the side view, you see that um, the frame around the windows is not as shiny as we are used to from the modern cars so it was black and this is something that i don't know if i like maybe not so much i prefer this color so the chrome which is here has only one line on modern cars on modern cars it's all around the windows but not here yeah so this is also something a little bit strange but the details are okay the gaps also the gap here between the uh doors is quite acceptable then when we go to the rear again very small wheels they spin but they are small maybe it's my opinion only but i don't like it that much and then in the back in the back the rear view okay so i think those rear lights are quite quite okay no significant gaps. I only think that it's a little bit dirty. So let me just zoom in a little bit. You see all the dust and I just took it out of the box, but I already see a lot of dust and dirt. Maybe it's because this model was really uh, somewhere for ages before they sold it to me. That could be the reason. So I, I might need to clean it uh, before it gets really uh, the shape that I want. Yeah. Also, everything would be shinier after I clean it so but now that's what I have and that's what you would receive if you order it and I ordered this one from eBay like almost all cars so please don't ask me in the comments it's from eBay an individual auction okay uh, now look at this Cadillac license plate and here maybe I will replace it but what is really annoying are those uh, rear lights and I think this is when the uh, car is in reverse mode and these are so big and somehow not fitting the overall uh, design so in modern cars it's usually integrated in the rear lights but here it's around the license plate and it's it looks a little bit like a police car yeah with those uh, very special lights um, but not here it's a regular car and also look at this this additional braking light here uh, this is incredible I don't know what they did in the design studio when they were designing this car but you know why did they place so many different lights everywhere and in the end there is no real light here behind the rear glass I have no idea why because they put it here which is uh, 
not so nice and I must admit I don't like it but that's what it is okay so then we have also this SLS and look at that L letter yeah it's not really nice it's like is it L or V something in between <laughs> not really precise and then we have those uh, exhausts and you can see that they are really deep yeah so it's it looks quite okay they are real and here look at that additional lights here another braking lights or what it is i don't know but now we have here the regular lights then we have here some additional lights one big light here and you know if this is not enough you also have one and two here okay this this is not normal no okay so then you have uh, the gas door here you cannot open it however so that's okay i i don't need to open it and then you also have uh, the sunroof which you cannot open but it's there and it's not really transparent so you cannot see anything through the glass yeah, it's it's not transparent at all so maybe i should also show you what is uh here so you see the screws are missing maybe no because i saw the holes here so i thought maybe some screws were in there but no it's just uh the design of the part and then maybe i will just turn it so to show you also all the different signs what we have here so cadillac collection 1 to 18 sls made in china then the gco products under the license of gm and that's basically it but i really appreciate that the bottom is not flat it's really with many details here suspension all those wires everything you know that's uh, quite a lot of details and i like it and also here the exhausts and everything so now when i said suspension i also want to check if the suspension is actually working yeah so when i push it in the back then I, I say yes it is working in the front <laughs> you say you hear the sound and yes it is working as well so great so we have many many features in this car I like it so mm. now I think time to open it and before I do that I can show that you can also here move the side mirrors which is also quite amazing and i like this detail yeah so this is really fully functional here and of course you have the antenna here i should also mention it all right so now let me first open the the hood here check what the engine looks like and for that maybe shall i use this door opening tool instead of my nails okay let's do that so first of all the dirt that i was referring to yeah it's it's still there so when i open it i think i will need to clean it somehow here but it would be so difficult let me just zoom in one more time yeah so you see it now all the dirt not really nice but what can i do all right so now the engine and what i like is actually ha, look at that so the hood actually is attached here and here but there is also one additional part here which is holding it in the upper position and i like it this is a quite uh, some nice detail here and then when we go and check the inside of the engine yeah so then you see a small sticker here with the instructions or warnings then there is the engine with the logo in the front and actually there are also some other parts what i liked is that it's probably not only one part but multiple parts connected and look at this gray part here i have never seen something like that maybe that's just for safety so that the car is more you know has then better results when they do crash tests because of this i don't know what, what would be the other reason to have this piece of metal uh covering the engine or that's really strange 
Okay, so let's continue. And before I go to the interior, I also want to show you here what is in the trunk and how to open it. So usually I use my um, fingers here, like, all right, easy. I don't need any door opening tool for that. And then nice carpeting, very soft. And then I think I can also do this and discover, wow, there is a, a spare wheel, which is also a nice detail. Not so many cars have this kind of detailing. So look at that, so I can fully uncover it and then put it back. Oh, here we don't have any magnets, so I need to be precise, but some, some of the models already have magnets, so it's directly, you know, attached to the place where it should be. Okay, so now, when I opened the, the hood and here, and the trunk, it's also time to open the interior. I don't need a door opening tool at all in the end. Yeah? So, let me do that. And also on the other side. And then, let me just maybe move my camera a little bit so that I want to show you all the details and what is inside. Let me start here in the front with uh, the driver's seat and I will zoom in a little bit again. So, of course, the steering wheel is attached to the wheel, so you see how it's turning. And then we have the seats and they look really nice. It's, it looks like real leather. Yeah, only I'm not sure if here in the real car maybe... Uh, the electric seat controls maybe have some signs on it or some instructions. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they are just uh, with the same color like the seat and it's so simple. Maybe it is. I cannot... Ah, I can. Look at that. Another feature that I just discovered. So you can actually move the front seats back and forth. Which is great. Amazing. I like it. So this is not really a, an ordinary model and I thought originally it would be simple, but it's actually very advanced. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I bought it. It's really, it's nothing, uh, nothing cheap, like in terms of how it was produced, with how many details. Maybe the price was not that high, but I appreciate it. Yeah, because if you have so many details and, and everything is so nice, and you pay only 100 then that's okay so the steering wheel with all the details yeah and then the middle console with everything then we have the armrest can i maybe no ah yes yes look at that i can do this with the armrest so that's another great feature wow haha <laughs> this model is surprising me very much Okay, so let's check the glove box, yeah? And aha, I thought it would be here. A functional glove box, so you can close it, open it, but the problem is that maybe it, it's uh, only in the open position. So yeah, now I put it up. So great, so functional glove box. Not so many models have it. You maybe remember I reviewed this um, Tesla Model S, which had so many details. But this was not there, yeah? so the glove box, you can open it here. The problem is that it doesn't stay in the upper position. Maybe if I push it a little bit. Okay, so now it's there. And I think after a few seconds, look at that. Ah, it's down again. Okay, so <laughs> that's the disadvantage. Eh? If something can be opened, uh, you are always risking that it will be open all the time. Okay, and then in the back, you see again, and this is not so common in regular cars or sedans, that you can also uh, have the rear control here for the seats. You have the uh, seat belt, and then, wow, you can, is it, you know, is it possible? You can move somehow the entire seat. Wow, is it? No, I don't believe it. How, why is it working like that? I don't know if this is broken, guys, or if this is intentional. Yeah, so you can actually move this seat back and forth. Huh. I don't know. Is it really intentional? 
maybe yes, <laughs> but it looks really great, yeah, so you can really play with that uh, as you want. The seats, by the way, look really great and in this beige color. And what else do we have? So maybe check also from this side if I can do the same with the second seat here. Yeah, so I think this is intentional. You can also move it back and forth. And then you have some kind of middle console. What is it for? And by the way, can I, can I close this here? Yes. So you can also move this up and down, so fully functional again. I'm not surprised. Okay, so wow, so many working features. Really, this is a great model and uh, I appreciate that there are so many different things that you can do with a car. It's really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. And I, I love it so much already. So mm -hmm. guys, now tell me, what do you think about this model? Does it look like a cheap car or rather like an expensive car? Because of course I reviewed some almost real models like this Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which was like, I don't know, 300 US dollars. And of course it is amazing, but then this one was only $100, but the quality is comparable, you know, with so many features. I don't think that this should be three times cheaper than the almost real <laughs> really a great model yeah so of course there are some you know small things i would say like here with the with this stripe here so maybe this could be a little bit better done and maybe also the front grille could be perforated they could have utilized this photo edging technology which would allow them to create this front grille with uh, you know perforated uh, parts but Hmm. I think only some very expensive brands like uh, Auto Art and similar would do that. But you know, if we skip the front grille, then the rest, hmm, I think it's okay. Maybe only one thing for myself, I, may, I might consider to replace those wheels with something bigger. Yeah. So if I find something which would be a, a bit bigger and it would look a little bit better then i might replace it so far i have not replaced any wheels on any of my models but maybe one day time will come and i will need to do that okay so i think that's it uh, if you have any questions feel free to raise them in the chat below the video and now only thank you for watching and here is the final rating thank you and bye bye